Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to your favorite girl on the internet. That's me, by the way. If you're new here, my name is Jasmine Rosette and in these vlogs, I document my weight loss journey. I show you guys the ups and downs, the ins and outs, the positives and the negatives of what it's like for me on my personal weight loss journey. But before we get into this video, I would ask that you would give this video a thumbs up if you like any part of this video, subscribe so you can keep up to date with me and all things that I am doing, and <laughs> comment down below, say hi, I say hi back, and without any further ado, let's get into this week's vlog. Mm. I need water. Ooh, dish goo, dish goo. So, it's a new week. It's a new dawn. It's a new day. It's a new life for me. Probably doesn't sound great. I ain't a singer. I'm not a singer. I just realized that my coat isn't my plant pot. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, not fully. Thank God. I was worried that I got dirt all over it. But anyways, it is the start of a new week. It's Monday. And I'm not working out today. As per the past several Mondays, I've been doing this. I'm not working out. Ooh. Just trying to get light into my room natural light at least but I'm going to start work soon last week and this weekend I worked on several certifications so I'm finishing up that today so I'm really really excited because you know I'm learning I'm growing I'm trying to build like my knowledge I'm trying to be better at the things that I do so yeah so I got hectic but I have a meeting today at like 9 30 so in about an hour so I am going to weigh myself and make breakfast and show you guys along that, take you guys along for the ride. But essentially, I wanted to catch you guys up on what I had yesterday. So you guys saw everything that I had on Saturday. The Popeye's chicken sandwich was honestly so good. It was thick. It was juicy. It was satisfying, but I felt very full afterwards. The only regret that I had was that I only had half of an ice cream sandwich. And I wish I had more. I really want more. I really want more. But, you know, I got financial goals so I, that I have to, that I want to hold myself accountable to and make sure that I'm not spending not overspending because that's what I've been doing is overspending and that's just not good overspending on food and like not adhering to a budget at all because that's what I did all 2020 um but before this entire new way of living happened I stuck to a budget and I did really good I was really good at saving and stuff like that and last year I just was like I'm gonna eat out as much as I can. And by eating out, just like ordering food or buying, you know, like fast foods and stuff like that at the grocery store and like making them ready. Like I really wanted to get fries last night for dinner, but I didn't. I got a vegan burrito um, that was made with like flaxseed flour and it was very healthy at my local grocery store. I was very proud of myself for that decision. But in terms of the food that I had yesterday, I had a parfait, like I've been doing, how I've been starting my mornings, and I had it with a ginger tea. I'm probably gonna do that again this morning because allergy season is here. My throat is just, <coughs> <coughs> it's causing me some issues. And yeah, it's just allergies that I've noticed. Um, sometimes I have like a stuffy nose. Sometimes I'm a little bit congested. I do have allergies, so it's just like it comes with the territory. And then 
for lunch because I was really excited. I had the Asian chopped salad with a turkey burger that I made or turkey patty, whatever you want to call it. That meal is so good. I'm for sure going to buy that Asian chopped salad again because the the dressing is very flavorful. The um the toppings that you get like with the seeds and the you know just all the added extra stuff like it's just so tasty and it's so good and it's filling because I give myself like a, a hefty amount of that salad and then I add on my turkey patty on top of that and I also put goat cheese with it as well and it was just chef's kiss it was so delicious and then for dinner because I had some errands to take care of had to go out and stuff like that I also needed fruit because I realized that yesterday I finished majority of the fruit and I only had like less than a handful of fruit so I was like okay after these errands and you know fulfilling this stuff I am going to get some strawberries and blueberries from my local grocery store and I also had down to get the red robin fries I really wanted to get the red robin fries then I was like, if I get these fries, I'm going to eat the entire thing and I'm going to feel not that great afterwards because I'm just going to want to eat, eat, eat. And what I need to do is control my portions and like have something that is a little bit more limited, but it's still filling. So I went into the frozen section and I got, I was like, I wonder if they have like a burrito or something instead of fries because in, in the frozen section, they had the fries and they had these burritos that were dairy free. Daya had these burritos that were really, that looked really good, but I was like, I don't really know if I wanna pay $5 for that. They were just more expensive and I just wanted something that was a little bit more affordable. So I went with this, with the brand that you guys have always seen me get at Whole Foods. I got at my local grocery store. It was a different flavor because it had like, tofu scrambled egg and lentils and it had no cheese with it because the other one has cheese this one had spinach and some kale and it was like a flaxseed flour and it was saying that it was vegan and gluten-free and it was really good i put it in my air fryer ate it delicious and then i i had this protein bar that was this fudge brownie flavor and I did not like it. It was very chalky and I couldn't finish it. Like it was edible, but not at the same time. It just, it tasted as though it had a lot of artificial flavors in it. And I didn't look at the ingredients because it was late and I was just like, I need to go get gas because I was running out of gas in my car. I was just tired and I was like, I need something to eat. So I'm going to try this and have it while my food is getting like air fried in the air fryer. And it was just, it wasn't, it wasn't good. It wasn't good. So I could not finish that. But yeah, that is what I had yesterday. And now it is, let's see, it is 825. So I'm going to get ready in about five minutes when we put clothes on I am what I'm going to put clothes on and get ready for the day and start making my breakfast and get started for work and I will tell you guys shortly what I weigh I set off my fire alarm so that was my morning but I am currently having breakfast avocado on toast with you know the suspects of why my alarm went off on one side it looks great on the other side it does not <laughs> but it still is edible and it tastes great whatever I have made myself some lemon tea you can kind of see right there have my lemon tea right there with collagen powder in there I currently weigh 225 pounds it was 225.3 I think um I, i'm yeah i think it was 225.3 but that is a big improvement from starting the weeks at 225 so 
progress, which means I'm going to be, by the end of this week, God's willing, lighter. Sorry it's so zoomed in. I need to fix the setting on my camera, but I accidentally hit something. So I'm going to eat my breakfast and I will, well, it's really lunch because it's so late. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys later. <laughs>So today has been the most Mondayest Monday ever. Just like so many mistakes that have just like added up <laughs> are just kind of getting me down a little bit and I really want to eat ice cream to feel better. But I feel like if I got a pint, I would eat the entire thing and I don't want to do that. So I'm thinking I will just go to Whole Foods and get myself an ice cream sandwich. Because I have no ice cream and chocolate sounds fine, but I don't want that chocolate, girl. I don't want the chocolate. But yeah, today's Monday vibes. Like, I set off my smoke alarm <sighs> filled out wrong information and submitted it for a project and it's just like <laughs> things aren't going to plan for certain things not everything has like gone away but it's you know like small things that I've that I've done mistakes that I've done today is kind of just like culminated and I'm just like okay Monday okay okay and I'm not excited about it but I finished my salad it was really good I really like that salad I for sure need to buy more of that when I go back to Costco because it is so delicious and I'll probably buy it next week probably most likely next week because if I make the tur- I really like making the turkey burgers the way that I've been making them, the turkey patties. Because I make them thick, girl. And they juicy. But I need more meat. And when I go to get more turkey, ground turkey, I can just get more Asian chopped salad. Because that dressing is also really good. Like just it's the wontons i was struggling this morning because my brain has just left the chat like completely <laughs> but yeah it's wontons and they're really delicious and then there's like a bunch of seeds and stuff in there that just make it more flavorful and the dressing's really good and then you add some goat cheese in there and then you add your turkey patty in there it'd be good with some like um chicken as well but Man, that stuff is fire. Like it is 
the best, yeah In October it feels like summertime I keep falling for you like every night Been communicating through satellites, yeah It's black and white I'm all up in the clouds when it's pouring rain Ain't never coming down unless you call my name Yeah, we should take it slow, just like day by day Like day by day I'm all up in the clouds when it's pouring rain Ain't never coming down unless you call my name Yeah, we should take it slow, just like day by day like day by day I'm all up in the clouds when I'm pouring rain Ain't never gonna doubt that you call my name Yeah, we should take it slow just like day by day Like day by day I got hungry while making my breakfast, but I'm having two slices of bacon, even though you're really only seeing one. I just ate one because, as I said, I got hungry. But I'm having pomegranate juice, so I'll show you my breakfast. So this is what I'm having. Avocado toast with some bacon, and then my pomegranate juice. I just had a mini emergency at work. <laughs> and it's now like 2.30 and I need to eat, but I have several meetings back to back after this so i'm not going to be able to make myself something if i can make it in like six minutes then probably so i'm probably going to make a parfait and then just have like brussels sprouts with 
the turkey patties later but I need water because I also have a headache because I haven't had a lot of water it's been glued to my computer because of this emergency but I figured it out it works it's all good now but my gosh when you have a work emergency it's just so intense like I get really sweaty and I get hot like that's how my stress I've noticed for me has shown up at work is that I just get really hot and then I start to sweat profusely even though I feel cold I don't know if anybody can relate to that but anyways ooh, I can feel some muscle on my arms she's getting there guys she's getting there I really want to get ice cream that still has not changed I kind of want to go to Baskin Robbins and get their vegan cookie dough ice cream because it has fudge in it but I plan on like baking something tonight so I'm like nah you know what I mean and I'm also gonna have ribs tomorrow so I'm so excited for that and then on I don't know what my plans are for the weekend yet if I'm getting brunch or dinner with people or if we're postponing that I have no idea so I gotta wait to figure some things out you know gotta plan financially for things I'm wasting time I'm gonna make my parfait before I head into this meeting
today but um, the food that I ate I made a bunt cake today a butter pecan bunt cake so I had a slice of that along with five pieces of rib five ribs <laughs> I don't eat ribs all the time so I like don't really know <laughs> the terms but I had five ribs I had quite a bit of green beans and a coleslaw type of salad, but it wasn't coleslaw, um, which was great. And then water and more water. So I didn't have a parfait. I didn't have anything else besides what you guys saw me have, which was the avocado on toast with egg and bacon and um, water today with a slice of bundt cake and five ribs, green beans, and the ribs obviously, some barbecue sauce, and some coleslaw salad that wasn't really coleslaw. <laughs> it was very, very good and very, very delicious and very, very just what I needed. So yeah, that is what I ate today. If you want to see the bunt cake video, I will link it in the cards up above for you guys so you can check that out. I did it in a vlog style format, but yeah, I am going to try to do more bakes with you guys on my channel because I want to document that I am baking more and I'm trying out new recipes and it came out really good. It was very rich. It had the recipe requires a lot of butter. And honestly, I think I would have done less butter because <laughs> after having it now, like I'm usually fine with butter. Um, if it's baked in, like I don't have a reaction to it. I personally just feel a lot 
heavier and not in a good way. I don't know if that makes sense. It's not that I like feel sick or nauseous or anything. It's just that like it feels like it's sitting more in my stomach rather than being digested properly. So hopefully that makes sense. But yeah, that's what I ate today. Um, that was dinner. So I just basically had breakfast and dinner. I didn't have lunch. Today was pretty full on with work. I had a lot of meetings. <sighs> work has been um, very busy, but in a really good way. Um, this week, last week was kind of, mm, you know, but also feeling not so great as I think I've mentioned before in past um, vlogs, but this week has been a really good week and has just been really positive. And I started a new anime series, so I'm like really excited. I love when I start a new anime series and it has like a lot of episodes, so I'm excited to be back on Crunchyroll. And yeah, I will check in excuse me i will check in with you guys tomorrow for a, another workout and another full day of eating but yeah i'm going to brush my teeth so i can get all that sugary stuff off my teeth so i don't get no cavities and i'm gonna go to bed i'm probably gonna watch an anime episode i'm gonna watch an episode of anime i'm i'm tired <laughs> so tired.
So today's Friday, happy Friday guys, and I am in my pajamas still, as you guys can see. I did have a meeting this morning, so I did get dressed um, for that meeting and then I went immediately back, <laughs> I went immediately back into my pajamas. But I do want to state that this week has been a week of maintaining, which is interesting because I started this week at, I'm pretty sure I've stated. 225 I believe but I just want to confirm so I started at 225.3 that is how much I started this week at I currently weigh 224.8 and I maintained 225.3 until Tuesday and then I went down to 224 point two on wednesday and now i'm like 224.8 which honestly makes sense because i had ribs on wednesday <laughs> and then i had like that dessert and yeah yesterday i had an ice cream sandwich like fully had that ice cream sandwich with like popcorn and stuff like that um as well so it makes sense to like why i've maintained this week instead of like had the same amount of weight lost from this week to last week but i'm not mad at it because it means that i'm not like closer to th i mean i am closer to 30 <laughs> who am i kidding but i am still like on the lower spectrum of the 220 so that makes me feel better but also something that i've noticed i don't like have been working out with my shirt off because i've been it's been cold and honestly, I was starting to feel insecure working out with just a sports bra on. Um, and so I like was like, okay, I'm just gonna go back to wearing a shirt and stuff like that, even though I'm in my own home and I don't need to. I just would feel insecure when my stomach would like come out or whatever. 
and I just didn't feel good. But now looking at my stomach, I've seen a lot more definition. The ab exercises that I'm doing specifically are really like building my abdominal muscles and helping me to really like slim that area down. So I've noticed like a big improvement in my abdominals. I do want to say with the ab exercises that I have been doing. Another thing is I wanted to like update before tomorrow happens when I'm like just kind of running through the day. But essentially, I ran out of storage on my external hard drive and I ordered another one at Best Buy, but for whatever reason, it is taking some time to get here. So I don't think I am going to vlog next week. So nothing's really gonna change. Like videos are still gonna be like uploaded for you guys, but there's gonna be a week missing in March. So just wanted to say that I will do like I will document as much as I can in terms of like my weight. I'll keep you up to speed on things that are going on, but I just won't be able to document because I won't be able to document because I don't have an external hard drive that I can export everything on and my SD cards are like getting used. So plus it's a good, it's a good reason to take a break from documenting and get caught up on editing as I always try to get caught up on editing. So yeah, I will show you guys what I'm gonna eat shortly. It's currently 10.22, so I am eating late because I did have an early meeting this morning. So I haven't had breakfast, but I have another quick meeting right now and then I am going to show you guys what I have for food for the rest of the day. And yeah, we'll get this day started. In case you are ever wondering what type of tea that I'm drinking, it is either the lemon ginger tea. I get this at H Mart. Um, they have several different flavors, but the lemon ginger one is really good. And obviously it all comes with honey. Or I will have the lemon herbal tea from HEB, which is a grocery store in Texas. And I always have that with um, some collagen powder that I have in here because it dissolves better in hot beverages. But yeah, if I'm not having a matcha latte, I'm either having a ginger tea or a lemon tea. I think today I'm gonna go with a lemon tea just to kind of keep it simple. The past couple days I've had the lemon ginger tea. And this stuff is strong, I will say, but I prefer it that way. It's really, really good for you anyway. So I like drinking this stuff. My friend Sang really brought me on to this when we went to H Mart together, but yeah, I always have a stash of this all the time. These are my top two go-to teas besides like a peppermint tea, chai, and matcha. I'm more of a tea drinker than, you know, coffee, espresso type of stuff. It has been an interesting day. But I'm going to have half of this ice cream sandwich. Yes, I bought two. Yes, I did. But I'm going to have half. And yeah, because I, I want to. I'm giving into cravings. <laughs> I'll show you me putting the other half of this into the freezer. Promise. I'm going to finish this. I'm going to finish this. It's just too good. Mm. So I went to Costco, got more eggs, and I also went to Sprouts as well. So I have eggs, blueberries, no, these are not blueberries, these are blackberries and got a different version of granola, some avocado, some ground turkey, more kefir, goat milk, lots of strawberries, because I figured why not. And I got more Asian cashew chopped salad because I'm honestly obsessed with it and it tastes so good. And I am running low on collagen powder, so I got some more of that along with some Dave's uh, bread here and then uh, Sprouts I heard of this brand called Four Sigmatic and They have like lines main which is supposed to help you with like concentration and focus and stuff like that 
So I got the shot form because I didn't want to get the powder in case I didn't have like a good reaction or I didn't like it. Um, and it was also a lot cheaper. So I got this. And then Sweet Melanie. Sweet Melanie. <laughs> got me a Kettle Brand Potato Chips Korean Barbecue. Because I love Korean Barbecue. And they taste really good. It's like more flavorful. It, to me, it's like more healthier version of barbecue chips. And then, because you guys know, I'm kind of trying all the ice cream. And this brand, Van Leeuwen, I'm sorry if I'm saying it wrong. This is the flavor. It's oat milk with brown sugar chunk with cookie dough, brownies, and candied oat clusters. And it's made with oat milk. And they're, they have vegan options and non-vegan options. But they're... Ingredients are pretty clean, um, minus a couple things, but yeah, their ingredients are pretty good for ice cream besides So Delicious. That's also the other brand of ice cream that is pretty clean with their ingredients. So that's what I got. Anything spicy at all. So I made some monkey bread. Mel and I have had a little bit to see if it tastes okay. This one did not come out as great as this one. So we're gonna taste test this one, but I'm sure this one came out perfectly. This one is a little bit doughy. So, yeah. All right guys, we are at the end of the week's vlog. I did not share what I weighed this morning just because I had a lot of errands to run and I was cleaning. Clearly I have a lot of laundry as you can see behind me that I need to get done. I made two batches of monkey bread. One of them came out really good. One of them did not. And I hate, I detest wasting food, but it was very doughy and just not edible. Um, like, I mean, it, it was edible, but it was just very doughy to the point where you thought it was raw and like uncooked. But the second batch came out way better. So I finally conquered making monkey bread. I'm going to make it again, but it definitely takes a little bit more work. And hopefully next time I make it, it'll be a little bit more therapeutic for me to make because... It was stressful, girl. It was stressful. <laughs> but yeah, I weighed this morning in at 225 pounds even. Um, this week was definitely a week of maintaining. And I think the reason was because I just wasn't eating properly. And by eating properly, I was missing meals. And not because I was stressed. I just had meetings during my lunchtime. So it made it harder for me to have a lunch because I would have back-to-back -back meetings during like the time that I would normally have lunch. And it just didn't work out well for me to have like my three meals a day. So I feel like even though I was eating less, um, I wasn't eating properly to help me sustain. And so I guess it just in turn stressed my body out a little bit and helped me to maintain. Also, I had ribs this week. Also, I had several things of ice cream, um, ice cream sandwiches. As you saw, I had two of those. Um, for the monkey bread, I only had two rolls. So I had like, or two bite-sized little things. If you know what monkey bread is, it's kind of like a grab-and-go type of bread it's really good it's really delicious um but i had a smaller one out of the first batch just to see if it tasted okay and the outside of it tasted good it was nice and crispy but then the inside was just really doughy and leaving it longer in the oven was just not helping and i think it was just the amount of oil like coconut oil that was in it as well as the amount of the amount of dough not dough flour that was in it that just didn't help the entire situation um and then the second batch that i made turned out way better because it had its second rise 
which is great. Um, and that one was just like consistently really good. Like the nice bready flavor, not too much, not doughy at all. It was just nice and fluffy throughout and just tasted a lot better. So I lied in saying that I think I conquered it. I think I can make it a little bit better by just adjusting the recipe and yeah so I had two of those and the second shot that you guys see of the ice cream is like all I ate of that pint so the rest of that pint that you guys see there is currently in the freezer that is a really good ice cream but it has coconut flakes and I'm not a huge fan of coconut flakes but I don't mind it like the texture is kind of crumbly but solid at the same time because it's ice cream but it's just like all the different components of it are like kind of crumbly but it still tastes good like i i really enjoy it and i think the ice cream brand is really really good so i'm excited to taste more flavors from them and yeah if you guys have made it to the end of this video thank you so much for watching till the end of this video i appreciate all the love and support um, if you haven't already, please do give this video a thumbs up if you like any part of this video. Subscribe so you can keep up to date with me and everything that I am doing. And comment down below, say hi, I say hi back. And don't forget to stay kind, stay true, and stay laughing. And I will see you in the next one. Bye!